We're at the Chandler today, 450 East Waterside, whole part of the new East Side development developed by Magellan. This is one of the most desirable buildings in this entire area. And of course, we're on the top floor where the pool is. You go to a lot of buildings today and the pool is on the podium level, which is like the sixth or seventh floor. It's never up here anymore because they want to sell these as penthouses. This is back in the day of doing impressive things for the entire building, and not just trying to maximize profits. On both sides of this pool, we have two huge balconies that you can use whenever you want, whenever they're open. Let's go check everything else out. We're checking out all the amenity spaces, ping pong, foosball, tons of outdoor space. This has a really good vibe to it, easily a good place to hang out with your kids or with yourself. You can do the best of both worlds. Now, right across the way here, we have the Riverview Lounge. Tell me this doesn't feel like a restaurant. Tell me this doesn't feel like a place you wanna spend all your time. I love how they have all the booth seating against the walls with on-trend colors, modern day thermostats, great light fixtures, smart TVs, kitchen. There's a kitchen in the back of that other room, by the way. So they have the, like if you're doing catering, all the catering people can go in the rear. When they built these buildings, even when they just did these amenities, putting the kitchen as a center focal point didn't make the most sense. I love the tile that they did here, plus countertops, trash, everything that you need. And I love that it wraps around right through here. It doesn't stop. Pool table, theater. I mean, blacked out true theater with sound acoustic curtains to keep everything down and not bother everyone else. But if you have noticed all the outdoor space around us, there is no lack of space for you to go if you need to catch a breath, take a moment outside. And I love they have a wet bar over there, wet bar over there, kitchen past that, two kitchens. There's so much space here and another smart TV. And then you have the card room over here and bringing it straight to 2022, you have the two office workstations here that you can use with the sliding glass doors, offering you, offering you a great level of privacy. And I love the fireplace here too, check this out. So this is one of those misting fireplaces where you just have steam coming off it, but it looks real, it looks good. All the stone they chose is so on trend with what's happening today. And they even did this great channeling here, which looks really good. Then you have another sitting area as if there weren't enough here. And then this goes full circle straight to the lobby on this side or to the parking on this side. And then through the parking, you can go to the dry cleaner right here package room here, <laughs> lobby right here. You can get your mail, come through, and then go straight to the unit, which I'm about to show you. What I like about this is we're near the elevators, but not too close to them where you're gonna get all the noise from them, but you're so close to the door right here. So come on and check it out. So immediately upon entering, you have to notice space for a credenza, some place to put your things as you come in. Look at this kitchen. So we just redid it all. The smell of new paint is overwhelming as we walk through here because everything is fresh, countertops fresh, appliances brand new, sink brand new. We're looking at a one of a kind unit that was redone because I know you don't wanna do these things and my clients were smart enough to get them done so you don't have to. I forgot about the coat closet. When you come in, of course you want a place to put your things. Coat closet right here, easy to access right off the entrance. Really good living room space in here. We are working with 13.7 in this direction, plus from the window all the way from the bar, we are talking about 23.9 in space. So really good rectangular room, easy to put a TV on this wall, clear place for a couch, dining room table over here or over here. Plus you have the floor outlets so you can plug in anything you need to in this part of the home. You'll notice there's no window treatments because they thought, hey, why have it? Why would you want to obstruct this beautiful harbor view looking to the park in this direction as well? And then we even have the balcony out here. We're talking about 14.6 on the balcony by 5.5. Really good room to work with here. And one of the most important things 
is that this opens up into the bedroom. So many times you won't have the ability to do both. You'll be in the bedroom, but don't have access on this door here. The developer wanted to save money, so they didn't put a door, not here, not in the Chandler. Here, it's locked. But we can go straight in through that bedroom if we wanted to. Stay right here. And bam, this is what I'm talking about. You wanna be able to enter and exit through either part of the home. Come on through this way. So usually we would have walked around, but now we're in the primary bedroom and we're working with 11.6 by 11 on space. Now, that might feel small for your primary bedroom, but you can easily fit a king and two nightstands in here. But here's the important part. All of this wasn't measured, okay? So we're not opening doors into the space. This is purely bed, nightstands, dresser, maybe a light or two space. And then we have the full closet here. That's an enormous walk-in. Look at this. And they did the basic closet setup that was given by the developer. So your average closet in Chicago is five by seven. We are far exceeding that. But this is kind of open, open box, vanilla box, open for your suggestions, ready for you to do what you want. You can come in here and build this out, do the most beautiful thing you ever thought of because it's gonna be yours and it's gonna be your closet to work with. I love the open space here. None of these hallways are small. You walk in and it feels grand. We came in here, we didn't have to change much because even since this was built, the building has aged very well because they chose good finishes to begin with. Solid shower setup, nice big tub, great stone top, nice modern lighting here, storage for all your things here. And of course you have washer and dryer right through here. Now come back in through the kitchen. Notice we have enough space so you could eat here, put some stools if you wanted to. But if we're walking through here, we have a great corner with tons of space in this direction, more space in this direction. Now these are Snedero Italian cabinets, okay? These were made in Italy, shipped here. These are top of the line. This is what people are still doing today and they have all the great features that you come to expect at this price point. We didn't show you the gym. We're gonna do that right now. Adam's gonna take you down there and take a look. Thanks for watching. Hope you come and see it.